Yeah, so today I'm accompanied by peanut butter whiskey, which I just discovered was a thing. <laughs> Quite frankly, the only alternative to the whiskey company would have, would have been to um, burn out my irises with a hot soldering iron because what we're about to watch... <laughs> We're headed back to Facebook video, reluctantly, where videos must be three minutes long or more in order to monetize them. So the website has been invaded by legions of smooth brain morons that have figured out the algorithm and are just spamming the most horrifically contrived, fluff-filled, mind-numbing I spilled my whiskey bullshit that your brain can possibly imagine they're getting billions of views and making millions of dollars for creating absolute dog sh and I've had fucking enough. Seems like the internet has reached this place where being genuine is the antithesis of what it takes to be successful or find an algorithm boost somewhere. Now, some genuine people still exist online. Shout out Moist Critical and a handful of other people, but they're few and far between, and on Facebook, I'm, I'm convinced they just don't exist at all. Let's take a look at this piece of shit skit right here, shall we? <laughs> this man was caught taking his clothes off. Oh, taking oh. off his clothes. Oh. Oh. So the stage is set. There's two women in a car seemingly catching this man candidly. Uh, and he doesn't have a home, so he's taking his suit off to shower in a fucking drive through car wash, I guess. Sad piano music in the background just really heightening the emotional impact of this incredibly sad fucking scene of a homeless man. <laughs> What the fuck is this? Okay, if you already, we're 42 seconds in, if you don't already know at this point that this is completely contrived nonsense, Uber alert! Or you're just, you have a fucking pee where your brain is supposed to be. Now, obviously, if you're watching a Leon Lush video, you're smart enough to understand this shit, but there are millions and millions of fucking boomers sucking on the teat of this emotionally contrived horse shit on Facebook and making people millions of dollars, and I don't know why it fucking pisses me off so bad, but here we fucking are! Let's move on. Oh God, no, an officer <laughs> and it, with the untucked shirt, like, what even? At first the police officer tells him he has to leave. Oh, this could go so horribly. Oh no, what a disaster. But the homeless man tells him that, what? What does he say? Please, sir, let me shower here in this car wash. I'm homeless. Let me remind you that videos have to be three minutes or more in order to be monetized. And this one happens to be exactly three minutes and one second. So during editing, they just filmed a bunch of bullshit that they could use to emotionally target people's heartstrings, cut it down to exactly three minutes, and boom, it's a fucking money-making machine. Let's continue. He's getting, he's getting the brush. Oh, no, he's not. He's not gonna brush his back in front of your officer. He wouldn't do that. That's crazy, a homeless man? No. No, wait. Oh! Oh my. Oh, the officer has a heart! He's helping him shower. Holy shit. This is so cute. This is weird. Oh. So you get the point. The officer then continues to spray him with his fucking hose, and it's the sweetest thing anyone's ever seen. Your aunt, I guarantee you, your aunt's probably shared this with the family on Facebook because she was blown away. Share this video to spread kindness. 46 million views, 11,000 comments. Amazing what they will do to keep clean and also keep their job. Finally, something worth watching. Thanks for sharing this. Becky says, since when do police officers wear half vests and their shirts not tucked in? I'm not buying it. Oh, we got a little suspicion in the comment section. Can you fucking believe it? So this is Blake K. He's got 150,000 followers, and we're going to talk about him and some other dickheads on Facebook that are in the business of emotional manipulation. But before we do, first I want to say I appreciate you guys for rocking with me for all these years. And if you don't mind, we're going to talk about today's sponsor, Mac Weldon, for just a bit, and I'll be back with you shortly. So if you've been here for a minute, you know that Mac Weldon is the dream partnership for me. And you might be thinking to yourself, hey, Leon, is that because you generally genuinely love their clothes and they're the most versatile and comfortable threads you've ever worn? Yes. Yeah, Is it because yeah. their dry knit crew necks and ace sweatshorts fit you perfectly and make you look like an MF and snack? Yes. Is it because after one day in their air knit boxer briefs, you replaced your entire underwear drawer with seven more pairs? 
Also, yes. But you gotta understand, Mack Weldon crushes the entire gamut of men's essentials, from swimwear to loungewear to working out. Their secret is the wide range of custom fabrics and technologies they use to deliver a quality you just can't find anywhere else. And with summer here, I've stocked up on their Maverick Tech chinos and packed their quick dry swim trunks for my pool days I have coming up in my imminent vacation to Martha's Vineyard. And not only are the clothes versatile, the shopping experience is intuitive and easy, so you can upgrade your whole wardrobe in just a couple of clothes. So to stay cool this summer while looking sharp as hell, head over to MacWeldon.com slash Leon Lush, fill up your cart with some stuff you like, and use code Leon Lush at checkout to get 20% off your first order. You won't regret it and your body will thank you. I appreciate you guys. So as we scroll through Blake's account, we see that all his videos are exactly three minutes long and every single video is just filled with uh, random nothingness with zero punchline or conclusion at the end. Let's take a quick skim through. Now, this is how you fix a pothole. Uh, nine weeks ago, 27 million views. Uh, I'm going to do us all a favor and actually just manually scrub it in about 10x speed here. All right, so fill this pothole up with ramen, green powder, plug in a drill, I, I tape tape over it and then at the end here we go the big reveal after you've put ramen green fucking slimer juice and tape the pothole can you drive over it let's find out you son of a bitch that's 27 million people that had three minutes of their life stolen from them and they got left holding a bag of blue balls. You know what? This is kind of like the Facebook version, the American Facebook version of Troom Troom. You know what Troom Troom is on YouTube. Here's a fun one, three minutes long. Hot dogs, you know what? Let's just go for it. Let's add oh eggs. My <laughs> oh my God, it's crazy. Blake, what are you doing? That's nuts. This is gonna be crazy. What are you actually making? Uh, adding purple juice to it, okay. Lemon Wait. juice, and like uh, brulee the top yeah. with a lighter. That's phenomenal. Okay, the finished product still hasn't finished cooking. What could the result be? Let's get it out of the. Uh oh, we got a tower malfunction. Oh, no. It's malfunctioning. Oh, oh no! And literally nothing. Literally this, fucking probably. nothing. You just threw a bunch of like bullshit this. in a pot. I wouldn't recommend this. Probably. I don't um, think it worked. Like I wouldn't recommend this. Probably. <laughs> I don't think it worked, Blake. You should probably read the recipe right the next time. <laughs> Fuck him! Fuck! Fuck! Listen, I'm, I'm self-aware how unhealthy it might seem that I get so tilted over innocuous shit like this, but I am just, I am in awe of the internet. I love social media and the interconnectedness and all of the opportunity that brings to so many people all over the world. But on the other hand, it's shit like this that is trying to lobotomize the frontal lobe of humanity and it drives me fucking ballistic. Oh, here's a fun one from a guy named Peter Vu. Um, let's just take it a step further and instead of just making nonsense, let's like exploit the emotions of people that have maybe lost their father this year, especially in a year where a ton of people lost people to a fucking pandemic. Now, to be fully candid, I watched this previously and it takes probably an entirety of two brain cells to realize this dude is completely full of shit. But it's Facebook, the actual inner ring of Satan's sphincter and we're living in it right now, baby. And it is hot and it sucks. Let's fucking go. This one's four minutes. We're going to skip through the whole thing. Here we go. Oh, my God, the music. My mom is heartbroken. My dad just died. Let me tell you a little something about these, um, I guess what you call like prompt cards. These flashcard videos are a huge hit. These have been massively viral because guess what? If you use flashcards that have three words per card, you can tell like a two or three paragraph story and it will take all of three fucking minutes, which is the amount of time you need to monetize your Facebook fucking video. All this bullshit about my mom lost my dad, she's devastated, here's his wedding ring. Um, for some reason, can't talk, he's not gonna talk, he just has to explain it on these fucking cue cards because it takes way longer and that's great for watch time and it's, I mean, it keeps people hooked. Or now we're like making something incredible by his words, but She's also passed out this whole time in bed with fucking clutching a tissue because she's been sobbing uncontrollably, of course. So he puts his hand in this purple shit. 
And this is such a sweet gift. Yeah, you here we go. It yeah. it's, it's all the way in the middle. In the middle? Yeah. Okay. Wakes his mom up out of her slumber after just a night of sobbing because of the obvious loss of their uh, her husband, his father. Tragic, tragic shit. Hey, don't get it twisted. Absolutely tragic shit. I mean, this is heart-wrenching stuff. This is why when I finish this video, I got fucking tears streaming down my face. Soaking my white t-shirt. My nipples are pinging through because the fucking white t-shirt's wet. And I'm hard as a fucking rock because grief makes me horny as hell. I'm sharing the shit out of this. But let's let's just get it finished here. Hold on. I know, you know, some rough things have been happening, you know, yeah. uh, to us, to our, you know, our family and everything. And, um... I hope, you know, this kind of reminds you that, you know, we're still here. We're still together. Oh, my God. The cameraman. Oh, my God. Mom, you know how you're always telling me that my hands are my new dad? I, I made a mold of my hand. You put dad's ring on there and remember him forever. I know I haven't been the best mother. I know it's been so hard and I'm really sorry, but I really needed this. I love you, I love you so much. I love you, Mom. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Sorry, baby. You know, I don't like to get so angry, but sometimes I, just, <laughs> I see shit on the internet and it gets me so fucking heated and I don't know how to fucking control my anger. And I know I've said I'll try to get better. And I'm trying. I'm trying. I love you so much. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. Oh. Lord, wrap your loving arms around him. Have you ever not known someone personally, but then you see him do some shit and it makes you want to headbutt him in the Adam's apple and then play the final countdown on the accordion while they choke to death on the ground next to you? I'm not saying that's how I'm feeling. I'm just wondering if, if you've ever felt like that before. Re un un unrelated to what we just watched. Have you... Here's another masterpiece from uh, uh, a third character named Justin Flom. I imagine he's just as much of a dickweed as everyone else we've watched here tonight. And, you know, just recruit your hot girlfriend or wife or whatever. And we're doing another falling cue card um, prank, I guess. Let's see who he's sending these roses to. All right. I have a feeling my favorite part is the fact that he's not going to notice the girl standing there filming the whole time. Like you wouldn't immediately notice her holding the camera in your face. Okay, so we can give these flowers to your girlfriend or we'll take them anywhere in town to a 10 mile radius. Again, three minutes and 21 seconds long. He's got an idea. He's not going to give it to his girlfriend. She's flabbergasted. Can't believe it. What an absolute like, dick. Cheating. He has to be cheating. Okay. Not your girlfriend. Okay, it sounds like it's a different woman. I knew it. I knew it. You're cheating on me. You're cheating on me. Where is that address? That's not my address. Yeah. Just like chill out, all right? Yeah, you're really? sending Hey, hey, bitch. Bitch. Sweetheart, honey, bitch, let's just chill out, all right? These are just flowers, okay? Honey, cool off. Flowers to some bimbo? Why would she chill? Where is that what is that address? address? Oh, wait. That's, um, it's your mom. That's my mom's address. That's, oh. that's, that's very nice. You're a good guy, buddy. Oh, so Fucking wholesome! Uh, of course, I look at Justin Flom's profile here, eight and a half million followers, fucking insane. He used to be a magician, now I do lots of things. You can see me on your phone or TV. Jesus loves you. Now some of you guys know, I did a video similar to this many months ago about Facebook magicians, 
And it seems like... It seems like... The magic tricks have run dry because every fucking magician on Facebook is now making the cringiest, contrived, bullshit skits to make a living online. I don't give a shit if you can magically bring Osama Bin Laden back from the dead and make him fuck a bunny rabbit in Trisha Paytas' backyard. If you make skits like this on Facebook, you've lost all credibility for someone who's doing anything remarkable or cool. Used to be a magician, now I'm just a slave to Facebook's algorithm and I die a little bit inside every time I post a video. <laughs> I mean, I don't really have any particular point I'm trying to drive home here. We're all pretty aware. Well, most of us that have a functioning brain understand that the world is basically governed by algorithms now, whether that's our entertainment uh, or anything else, everything is controlled by AI and being served to us in our pockets all day long and we're all scrolling and addicted and it's fucking ruining the world. Yet, I leverage it myself um, to, to do things that I love. So there's it's the give and take of the things I love about the internet and the things I absolutely fucking deplore. Uh, and I'm just always constantly in the middle there. But every so often, I just have to pour a little whiskey and make a video like this to vent. And I'm so appreciative that you guys are on the other side of this camera lens to listen to this middle-aged man cry about this fucking dumb bullshit on Facebook. I am forever in your debt. <laughs> and if one single boomer aunt watches this video and has a light bulb switch on in her head and realizes that the Facebook algorithm has been taking advantage of her empathy to serve her these bullshit videos that make these morons tons of money, I consider that a W. So thank you guys for your time as always and cheers to whatever genuineness is left on the internet because Lord knows it's only gonna get worse before it gets better. Do me one favor before you go, stand up out of your chair, pull down your pants, ooh, ah, and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. We'll see you in the next video, peace. You, you. you. you.